My name is Mike Scramstead. I'm a dentist in Orono, Minnesota. I've been using uh, CEREC technology since 2003. So let's go through the whole entire implant workflow. When a patient comes to my office, the very first thing that we're going to do in the workflow is take a CBCT. We want to get that three-dimensional bone data so we can get that implant in there accurately. They'll come back to the operatory and either myself or an assistant will go ahead and scan that patient's arch with the prime scan. So once we have all the CEREC scans completed with the prime scan, we'll go ahead and design the crown. After getting that exported file, we're going to bring this into the implant planning software and merge to the CBCT data. Having all this data fused together, we're going to be able to accurately plan the implant to get it into the correct location. Once we're done, we're going to go back to the CEREC software with this file. Now it's time to go ahead and design our surgical guide. We decide where we want the windows to be placed just to make sure that when we seat the guide it's perfectly accurate. We'll bring this into the manufacturing stage and at this point we'll send this to the in-lab CAM software. At that point we just simply need to hit the fast forward button and it's going to bring us immediately to the manufacturing screen and it's going to have all the supports already in place and it's going to have the guide correctly oriented for the best possible and highest quality printing job. Now before we start the printing process, we need to prepare the prime print unit and insert the correct or guide resin for this particular indication. So after she has the correct resin in, she'll reinsert the prime print box and now we can start the printing process. So now that the printing is complete, she can transfer the prime print box from the prime print into the post-processing unit for final washing and curing. Now the greatest thing about this entire process is there's no drippy alcohol on there, there's no resin, it's completely and totally dry. She's going to go ahead and remove the surgical guide from the build plate. The next step is we're going to place the correct sleeve into the surgical guide. If you've ever 3D printed guides before, you'll remember that oftentimes these have to be forced into place so it's nice that the accuracy is high enough that everything slides in and, and it's perfect fit every single time. So once the guide is sterilized, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring this to the mouth. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to try this guide in, make sure everything is stable, make sure the fit is accurate, and get ready for the implant procedure. Once this is all done, we're going to go through, in this case, the Astra OsteoSpeed EV workflow. We're going to do a tissue punch. We'll go through the osteotomy sequence and then get ready to place uh, the Astra EV implants. So as you can see in this workflow, what we did is we placed two implants on the lower left quadrant and we did it all in the same visit. Now what really is amazing about this is I can do everything start to finish, I can, I can preheat the prime print, I can get the resin ready, and by the time I'm done designing the guide, I can send it to the 3D printer, the 3D printer is ready to go, my dental assistant can go and she can take care of everything, she can wash it, she can cure it, she can remove the supports, polish it up, and then bring it back to the operatory and be ready for delivery. So it's, it's a concise workflow. It's very, very uh, efficient and easy for all of us to do. And it's really allowed easier, faster treatment for the patient because we can now do this in one visit.